If you have a high pH and you want to know the best way to solve this problem, in this video I will tell you the reason why the pH could be high and also the easiest, cheapest and safest possible way to reduce this pH and have it controlled. Let's begin! First of all, there are three reasons why your pH could be high. The first reason could be because you have a waterfall or water falling from heights or there are bubbles getting into the water. To make it simple for you, whenever any of these situations happen, the pH tends to increase and increase. Second reason why you could have high pH is because you made a chlorine shock. Whenever you shock the pool with calhypo, which is calcium hypochlorite, or liquid chlorine, commonly known as bleach, you increase the pH because of the high pH of these types of chlorine. And the third reason why you could have a high pH is because the alkalinity of the pool, which is another parameter different than pH, is high. Whenever your alkalinity is high, pH tends to be higher. Now let's see how to solve any of these three problems. The first one, which is having a high pH because of bubbles or water falling from heights, the solution is just to stop having water falling or those bubbles in the water. That way the pH won't tend to increase and increase. And if this doesn't solve the problem in two days, well, it is necessary for you to lower that pH with pH reducer. To use this pH reducer, I recommend you to use chlorhydric or muriatic acid. To do this is by entering the app Manage Your Pool to the Parameters section, pH option, and in there you can introduce the data of your pool. Then you have to add this pH reducer using gloves and distributing it mixed in a bucket of water walking around the pool. If you want to know that you made good calculations or you want to do any other question through the bottom consults in the app Manage Your Pool, you can ask me personally anything you need. To solve the second reason why you could have high pH, which is when you shock the pool with chlorine, the solution is also to wait for two days and if the pH doesn't go down in those two days you need to add pH reducer. I recommend you again to use chlorhydric or muriatic acid. And the third reason which is whenever you have high alkalinity the way to solve this is by lowering just the pH a few times. Every time you lower the pH for example from 8.0 to 7.2 you lower also the alkalinity of the pool. So for example if you have 200 parts per million of alkalinity you need to lower the pH once and maybe the alkalinity will go down to 180 parts per million then you wait again for pH to increase then you lower back pH then you wait again for it to increase and then you lower it back again and you might have reached those 150 parts per million of alkalinity so that pH doesn't increase again this is the most common problem that you think that because one time you lowered the pH it shouldn't go up back again and when it goes up again you think there is a problem but now you know that it is because of the alkalinity and now you know also that you have to reduce this pH several times until alkalinity reduces too and until the pH doesn't increase back again and it's as simple as that how you can solve this problem of high pH in your pool if you like the video subscribe because I upload one new video with the best info about pools for you every week. Bye bye!